I have played a lot of dance games for the Wii, but I've never really played a country-themed one before. And I was really excited to do it. But I decided if I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it right. And that means getting into the country mood and spirit. So let's get this thing started. There we go. I'm all country fine ready to play this game. So what do you say we play country dance for the Wii? You know what? Glasses are a little bit too much. How am I supposed to play a game with sunglasses on? There we go. Let's play Country Dance for the Wii. Ever since the success of Just Dance 1 and 2, companies have been trying to copy the simple to replicate gameplay. It's a really easy moneymaker. Buy a bunch of licensed songs, animate some dancers, and have people replicate what's on the screen. Country Dance is taking an obvious country take on the series. They take some very popular country songs and you have to dance to them. The biggest problem is that this really isn't the genre that works well with a dance game, as songs that they chose were a bit too slow and seemed a little awkward to dance to. Now don't get me wrong, there were some fast songs, but even those songs didn't have that many specialized moves. In fact, the moves seemed to be very generic and would often show up in many other songs, so there weren't a lot of dances that were for specific songs. There are over 25 songs to choose from. You'll recognize artists like Carrie Underwood, Tim McGraw, Brad Paisley, Sugarland, and many more that are putting up some of their most popular songs to dance along to. Now the controls are very critical parts of these type of games. If the titles can't do a good job of knowing where your hands are and reading your motions right, the game is basically unplayable. And I'm happy to report that the game did read my motions. And I had some of the best scores I've ever had in a dancing game ever! When I was scoring all these fantastic scores and high amount of greats, I was really thinking, wow, I must just be awesome at country dancing. But after getting great scores on my eighth song in a row, I knew something was up. I never do this good. In fact, I usually stink at these type of titles. So I decided to start up a song and walk out of the room, but keep strumming the Wiimote every second. And after the song was over, I came back in the room and I took a look at the score I got. 73% great. That's insane. I did try it again and I got a worse score, but it was never worse than a good score. So I figured out the game only tracks when your Wiimote makes a motion, and not where your hands are like it should. Now it makes me wonder if all the games do this. The Wii can track the position of your Wiimote, so there is no reason to do movement beats to give you a score. It's just lazy programming not to track your position. The models they have us mimic all are faceless, lifeless, and kind of creepy. In fact, the very first model I encountered seemed like it was moving like a robot. It was kind of strange to see the lighting and weird effects that they had over all the models. Are these weird strobe lighting effects on these clothes really necessary? What am I playing? Disco country dance? One of the oddest things about this game is that they would often do moves in the beginning and the end of the song that just wouldn't matter. Why does the model keep acting like the game is still playing? If the model's gonna keep dancing, why did the programmer stop registering dance moves? It just didn't make any sense. Now there were three ways to play this game. Regular where you play the game normally and you get four scores that are great, good, okay, and a horseshoe, which basically means no points. Perfect mode where if you don't get a great score, the points don't count. There is no good or okay in this mode. And stop and go, where the game will play out normally, but occasionally the game would freeze on purpose for a few seconds, and then it would go back to normal. Honestly, I found the normal game the most fun of them all. Since the game really doesn't use any motion tracking, the title is very easy to play. Even the songs with the hardest difficulty were a cinch to beat. Country Dance is okay. I'd be lying if I said I didn't enjoy it. However, it's not the game that I enjoyed, but the songs in it. The broken controls make the game a bit boring to play. What I mean is, who cares if you get great scores, if there's no real skill in getting them? You know what? I'm going to save you some money in renting this game. I want you to go over to your radio, turn it on to your favorite country station, then flail your arms around, and you'll replicate everything that Country Dance has to offer. And that's really disappointing, because if this game did track your position, it would definitely be worth a rent because of all the great music in it. However, since it doesn't, I would say skip this game. Now, if you excuse me, I'm going to go attend a hoedown, because I'm in the mood. Ooh, 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 ooh. 